Virgo. This is Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tower reading. Please forgive me for my little cord. My phone is about to go dead, and I want to make sure it doesn't go dead during your reading, Virgo. So let's see what we have for you. Let's see what God Angels Universe has for Virgo. Come on, God. Bless Virgo real quick. Yes. Here we go. Ooh, I tell you, God, God always shows out and shows up for you guys. Oh, boy, Virgo. Oh, justice. Okay, what we got? What we got? Interesting. All right. You got the sun, the two of cups. King of pentacles. You know something, Virgo? I'm just going to say this. It's like y'all get doubly blessed. Whatever money that you've been working on and looking for, that's going to come through. Um, yeah, things change drastically. Sunshine, happiness, joy. You meet somebody, you get some money. The end. Turn off the reading now. <laughs> right? Like, I don't even want to, I don't want to even want to continue on. But, <coughs> excuse me. But I know Virgo, y'all are nosy. Y'all want to know what else, Alex? All right, Virgo, let's get you what else. You got Leo, you got Libra, you got Scorpio. Interesting combinations there. All right, what else do we have for... Oh, yes. Good job and staying, staying, uh, watching, continuing the video. Mm, ooh, ooh. Okay, page of cups. Sorry, look, the queen of wands fell out. Who Virgo, what y'all got going on? Okay, let's put her majesty up here. Okay, you got the sun card and the nine of pentacles. I feel like you feel that there has been some sort of universal shift. Yes, Jesus, thank you, Virgo. Because God must be a Virgo because he's shining his light on you, okay? Material, Materialistically speaking, money abundance is here. I feel like a lot of you guys got that tax refund, got that stimulus, got that PPP loan, whatever it is. Money has be made itself available to you. Not only that, but you just started talking to somebody new. Virgo, y'all know y'all tend to move quick in love, Right? So I feel like you made an instant connection or semi-instant or maybe just a good connection with somebody, right? And you guys are now talking and Jesus Lord, I'm also going to put it out there that you could have met two great, perfect people, Virgo. I can't stand y'all because y'all just got that look. Y'all can just open your eyes and meet somebody new and get a new job and get some more money. And I'm just like, how do I do that? How I need to get my life in order, Virgo. Okay, you got the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. My opinion, me as a reader, these are the two kings you want on your table all the time. Love, money. Virgo, the universe is blessing you and shining down on you with blessings of love and money. And Alex is annoyed. Okay, but I'm loving it. No, seriously, I, I think this is freaking awesome. You have Justice card and Eight of Cups. I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, yeah, this is almost saying to me that you had to readjust the way that you're approaching love and managing your emotions and when to engage your emotions and when not. What I'm also hearing too is, yeah, there is a little bit of anxiety management in here as well, but I do feel like the universe is saying to you, yes, don't forget Oh, don't forget the lessons about when to walk away from a situation. And I feel like maybe these blessings came about because you finally gave something up. You finally walked away from something. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys received some sort of validation or confirmation that walking away was the right thing to do. You're working on deceiving yourselves? No, you're working hard or you're paying attention. That's what it is. You're paying attention now, so when you do meet these people, you are not, say, for instance, going in head first. You are now looking at your relationships and, and romantic situations logically 
versus emotionally only. Now, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you have the Queen of Wands. Honey, that is attraction. That is lust. That is beauty. That is everything hot, fiery, and passionate. Okay. You got the Page of Cups. New love. Hey, Bo, How you doing? And then you also have Scorpio, which is the death card. Ending something. Okay. But death also brings on, on new life as well. That's what Scorpios do. We... We are transformational. So I feel like you guys have transformed. Oh, that's what it is. You were in like, oh, yeah, this situation made you happy. Because a lot of you guys probably were in that hanged man energy, feeling stuck, unmotivated, you know, faith low, not sure what to do, lost some optimism. And now all of a sudden, you did this 180. Now you're ready for new love. A lot of you guys are attractive. Of course you are, because you sit sitting pretty with your money and your coins and your prosperity you know what i mean but again angels are saying be careful and make sure you work on <clears throat> i always say this to you virgo staying grounded right staying grounded so you can see when somebody's being deceitful so you can see as an example if it is either one of these kings which i hope not but so you can see when somebody is around you for your money for yourself for who you are or they're just around you to get what they want and then eventually leave. So the, to me, the universe is saying, my goodness, put it under a microscope, but pay attention to that. Okay. Um, with it. Yeah. So you don't have to walk away. Right now at the same time, you know, not all relationships are meant to last, unfortunately, and fortunately, right? You don't want the, the toxic ones to last. Some of those need to come to an end. But I do feel like with these four cards here, the universe is saying to you, Virgo, stay on guard. Not keep your guards up. Stay on guard. Pay attention. Feet on the ground. Eyes, fall, eyes open. Looking forward. Trying to figure out what's good for you and what's not so good for you as well. This is new love, right? This is new love. I feel like over here, yeah, you all dating because you all pretty hot and tempting, Virgo. Right. But then also here at the same time. Um, oh, this is you making a choice. You're, you have to choose between these two kings and this is you making a choice. And I feel like to an extent, yeah, this is the impulse because one of them are fine. Right. One of them you're really attracted to, but then one appeals to your heart. So, you know, to an extent, you're going to have to choose one over the other. And Lord, I can't tell you which one you're going to choose because there's a high attraction. But then also at the same time, one of them is kind, sweet, very loving, very childlike, very innocent. This is what I'm saying, Virgo. This is why this is why you and I have issues because you got to make choices between two kings. All right. Anyway, we're going to ask and we're going to look at the angel answers cards. So Virgo, let's see what we have. Perfect timing divine timing okay we have within the next few weeks right yeah all of this kind of might have came out really quick in a flash of the pan like first of all and the answer is virgo right but who gets blessed financially and romantically virgo okay moving on <laughs> romance Oh, wow, Virgo. Oh, I so want to be you guys. Wait, is at the bottom. So again, that, that is before you make a move, before you make a decision, before you decide or move, to move on, move away, move into your next situation, Virgo, stop and stay, wait, and make sure you're performing a healthy analysis before making decisions. Yeah, you guys tend to be impulsive, right? You kind of do go in heart first. I feel like, again, the universe has been teaching you guys about that maybe the past seven or eight months. And it's time to now start applying it, okay? Moonology, Virgo, you are good enough. Full moon and who say it? What? Virgo. Uh, work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. That says to me the reason why you are impulsive because you don't want to lose somebody, but 
maybe the universe knows that you need to lose this person because of who they are to you. And you don't know yet who they are to you, but you're trying to hold on to them. So be careful about, again, people who are leaving your life. Sometimes some of them really need to just go. Okay, hold your vision, vision fixed moon. As in, remember these lessons, Virgo. Don't let them go in one ear and out the other one because you all pretty hot and sexy right now. You and your loved ones are safe, new moon in cancer. Yeah, that to me is like your heart, you know, um, your heart is safe. But again, sometimes it's not only the person or other people who hurt us. Sometimes it's actually us who hurts us because again, we don't follow the guidance. We don't listen to our intuition. We more so listen to our hearts than listen to our heads or even vice versa. But it's a communal affair. It should be your heart, your intuition, and your head, right? Those should be your three kings or your three three advisors. Not one individually or separately, but collectively. That's your committee. That's your approval committee, okay? Um, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, Virgo. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you. Bye.